2018 Gatorade Athlete Awards, Caitlin Tooley, New York High School, North Rockland High School. Both track and cross country, first time ever somebody's won both awards in this thing for Gatorade Produce Award. What does that mean to you as far as winning Gatorade but in two sports and being the very first to do so? Um, it's definitely awesome. I've worked so hard during the cross country season and I never thought winning track would be possible, but to win it again, to represent both sports, uh, is just amazing. Caitlin, uh, you've had quite a year this year. Not just the victories, but how you've done it. I mean, first off, beating a field in dominant performance at Nike Cross Nationals, then in track and field, setting national records in the 5K, in the 3200, and then in the full mile, all in very differing degrees of conditions, including the low 90s and uh, somewhat humid over in Greensboro. Which of, those, which of the performances price out to you as the most impressive, the most, the one you cherish the most? Um, I think my last race was the most bored in the mile. Um, I never thought I could break the record in those conditions. It was like 90 degrees, it was humid. So I'm really proud of myself for um, running that time um, in the heat. And it was my last race, so I really think it just capped off my season uh, quite well. That record stood for quite a while, for quite a while, and you, your success has taken down some of the all-time great spending generations at a number of distances. Uh, very, very impressive, and obviously it's justified. Often, oftentimes, we hear the hyperbole of being the all-time best, so forth. In your case, it's actually true, which is just stunning. Being a high school sophomore, finishing up. Um, have you had a chance yet to go ahead and try and process what you've done this year? Yeah, after my last race, I took some time off and really just thought about everything that happened. And, um, you know, it, it's just so special to look back and see, you know, everyone who supported me along the way and helping me achieve those goals and to, you know, break those records and to win the big meets. It was just it was so special. Nowadays, it's a different era in terms, especially with social media. There's just so much attention out there 24-7. There's going to be a lot more eyeballs on you going in the future. Have you had a chance to, either with your mentors or your family, to try and plan how to cope with that? Because there's going to be a lot more attention coming forward. Yeah, we definitely, um, you know, turn down, like, some interviews and stuff. I just, we try to keep it, you know, low-key. Um, but uh, in the future, I'm assuming there's going to be more. But it's nice when, uh, you know, someone, like, spots me out, like, oh, you're the runner in the community. Cause the community is going to be so supportive of me. But... In the future, I'm just, um, you know, just hoping that it's not too overwhelming and that um, I can still, you know, stay humble with all the attention. Obviously, the support structure around you has been very instrumental in basically keeping you grounded. Uh, after we've achieved some success this year, aside from what you achieved on the course and on the track, what probably have you taken away from in terms of successes this year? Anything else more from a life lesson or just something you learn about yourself? Yeah, um, you know, just the Gatorade um, Award, it's not only about your athletic performance, it's about your academic performance and your character, so just winning these two awards, um, you know, recognizing not only what I've done on the track, but in the classroom and in, you know, in the community, volunteering and stuff, it's just um, so, uh, you know, awesome to be able to not only excel on the track, but, you know, in the classroom as well. Have you had a chance to get to start thinking about next year? A little. Um, next year I'm just hoping to do you know, the same thing I did this year, just keep improving, keep running fast, keep my grades up, volunteer, you know, just uh, be an overall good person. When it comes to your performances and just how you look when you perform, the superlatives are all over the place. Being a, if you had to criti be a critic of yourself in a sense, what would you say is probably your biggest area for improvement where you have room to improve and you like welcome that challenge? Yeah, honestly, I think I'm my uh, biggest enemy. I'm the most critical of myself. So after each race, I'm always thinking what I could have done better. Um, so I definitely just think down the road, just keep training, make sure I'm, you know, uh, staying fit as well as recovering after hard performances. So I, I'm just thinking that uh, if I just keep doing what I'm doing now, uh, I'll continue to improve. This year, with all that you've achieved in both sports, what, if, if anything, was there any goal out there that you did not achieve? It would be kind of hard to believe given your performances and given the records, but is there anything out there that you didn't achieve that you wanted to? Yeah, I mean, in the two mile, I ran 9.47. I wanted to run a little faster, so that's, 
that's one I guess I could say, but um, I don't really think there's anything that I didn't hit because usually I try to keep my goals low so that uh, I could break them, <laughs> so that I'm not, um, you know, disappointed with myself. Do you enjoy tracking more or cross country more? I feel like it's just um, when I'm in the cross country season, I prefer cross country, and I'm in the track season, I prefer tracks. So I, I really just think it's what time of the year it is. Speaking frankly, do you view track and field as more of an individual sport? Yeah, um, uh, no, I think they're both pretty similar because cross country obviously is a team aspect of scoring points to win like your top five runners, but in the track there's relays so and there's team scoring uh, meets, so I really think they're pretty even, but I feel the cross country you're closer to your team considering that it's a smaller amount of people. So I think cross country would be more of a team dynamic. All right, Caitlin Tui, and once again, the first ever combined cross country and track and field athlete of the year for the Gatorade Awards. Congratulations. Thank you.